Over the past several years, we've seen so many brands and IPs that are so beloved get absolutely destroyed by these corporations in woke Hollywood. And we've seen fan backlash for things like Star Wars, Star Trek, Doctor Who, you name it. But I don't think anything really compares to the scale that we saw a fandom react for Amazon's Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power. When that first one minute teaser was released, the backlash was real and it was strong and it has continued for months and months and months. Well, now they have a new teaser trailer, the main teaser trailer for Amazon's new series on Amazon Prime, which really has nothing to do with Tolkien, even though they continue to try to use him to promote this. And as you could have already guessed, fans already aren't liking it. J.R.R. Tolkien and the Lord of the Rings fans lampoon the latest teaser trailer for Rings of Power. And it released about like eight or nine hours ago, something like that. It's got a million views on Prime Video right now, already ratioed. 56,000 downvotes to 35,000 upvotes. The comment section is exactly what you would imagine it would be. Just absolutely roasting Amazon and roasting this series for feeling, looking, and sounding nothing like the stories that it's supposed to be derived from. And I did pause at a very specific point here. The past is dead. We're going to listen to that. It sounds a lot like, what is that? Maybe Last Jedi, doesn't it? Like Disney, Star Wars, like all of these different brands that we've seen fall by the wayside because the people in charge say, fuck the old fans. We're trying to do something new with this. We don't care about respecting what came before. We're going to make this for current day. Never works out well for them, does it? And we're going to get into, I want to watch a couple snippets from this, but first, let's just look through all the other countries. Uh, you got this right here. This is in the UK, 9.2 thousand downvotes. You have the Netherlands, and this doesn't have very many views, but it's still ratioed. What about this? France, ratioed. What about this one? This is España, Spain, ratioed. Now, the one thing that I got to point to and say, look, it looks like Brazil Looks like Brazil loves Rings of Power. This is the only thing I can find on any Prime channels that it's not ratioed. This is 10,000 upvotes to 3,000 downvotes. But everywhere else, it is getting destroyed, both in the likes to dislike ratios and in the comments section. And I wanted to play a couple things that stuck out clearly to me. The first one was the past is dead. I want to listen to this little line that they utter here. The past is dead. We either move forward or we die with it. If that's not supposed to be very directed towards a lot of the people that are saying, what are you doing? This isn't like what Tolkien wrote. This, is, this aren't the stories that he wanted to tell. Then I don't know what is. Similar things that we've heard for so many other of these brands, so many other beloved things that get destroyed by Hollywood. But I also wanted to go to this part because of course, Galadriel, we've been talking a lot about Warrior Galadriel and how it's clear they're almost trying to swap her and Elrond's characters that we know from the Lord of the Rings series. Uh, they're trying to shift their roles in this. You have fought long enough, Galadriel. Put up your sword. Remember, this is, this is Elrond. This is Elrond in this series. The enemy is still out there. The question now is where? It is over. You have not seen what I've seen. I have seen my share. You have not seen. A lot of people are sticking on this part because it is so stereotypical for what they want to do in Hollywood. It's almost like they're treating Galadriel as a man. They have her man spreading. They have her leading these armies that we know she never led based on what's all in the lore. They're effectively just going to swap her and Elrond's role in this series. And people can see straight through it. It's one of the reasons there's so much backlash right now. I wanted to go through some what some people are saying out there. The visuals aren't as cheap as the last trailer, but this show's plot still isn't clear. And... I would play the entire thing, but Amazon's honestly been hitting a lot of people, so I don't know what they're going to do for this reaction trailer, so that's why I kind of want to play snippets. But yeah, you have no idea what this is going to be about. They're jumping around thousands of years between little clips, so anyone's guess is as good as mine. The visuals aren't as cheap as the last trailer, but the show's plot still isn't clear. It's jumping across events that all occurred over thousands of years, and the characters don't resemble the book counterparts. My expectations are pretty low. There's Stieg. Hey, remember when they climbed the wall? That was popular. Of course, they're going to have that in there. Mash the TDS says this could be any generic fantasy show, and you'd never know the difference. 
defiling the works of Tolkien for agenda and destroying the mythos for diversity, the rings of power. And I wanted to look at this from OneRing.com because I feel like they always do very good summarizations of what we see here. Thoughts on the Rings of Power. It leans into two things. Warrior Galadriel and Cavorting Harfoots, the new Bezos Hobbits. Weird, but not surprising that the two things not a part of Tolkien's story in the Rings of Power are central here again. Uh, half the trailer is about Galadriel's toxic masculinity. Elrond tells her to put up her sword that the battle's over. But Galadriel, who's now apparently been at the vanguard of all these major battles she wasn't in originally, has seen too much. She's got to fight. So toxic. They're trying to make her into a man. It's what they're doing. Uh, because what she was before isn't good enough for Amazon. The trailer also really lets on, or never really lets on what the story's about. There's elves, men, hobbits, orcs. There's a meteor. There's a big bad evil, but there's no rings, no Anatar, no Celebrimbor, nothing that reveals an actually engaging story. And since they're compressing the story from thousands of years into a single point in time, I feel like we should know more. Who are the baddies? Why are they worried? Why did baby Superman spacecraft crash land near the Hobbits? They haven't clarified who Hal Brand is yet. Is he Anatar Sauron? Is he a Numenorian? The trailer isn't giving us anything to hang our hat on. Why should we care about these characters? Visually, I think it looks great. It's got all the fingerprints of Jackson's Lord of the Rings films, so all they really had to do was rely on that blueprint to make it amazing. There are lots of beautiful shots in the trailer, and if nothing else, the show will look amazing. I agree with that a lot of ways. I also, I will just say, I agree with what a lot of other people are saying, that it doesn't look like Lord of the Rings to me. It could be any sci-fi show that gets put on a, a big streamer right now. It could be Wheel of Time, for that matter. Something else that was on Amazon. There's nothing that really stands out as Lord of the Rings-esque to me. It could be Game of Thrones. It could be whatever. So, And then seven, to, find, to finish it off, in the end, they're taking some wide licenses with characters and storylines. They're leaning heavily on their own characters while changing the ones we know from Tolkien's work. So it'll be a $1 billion fan fiction. It doesn't seem like they're really trying to hew close to anything Tolkien actually wrote that maybe because they don't actually have the license for any of it. But some words that Tolkien originally wrote would have been nice in that trailer. I don't think we can expect anything like that from the people that are working on Amazon's Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power. Another embarrassment, this ratio is only going to get worse. I've already seen them start to delete comments because some of the things that were the top comments on here just 20 minutes before I started recording this were already gone. Ones that were bashing the show, J.R. Tolkien quotes, all the same stuff. You know that they're going to be purging their social media to protect it just like they did before. These people are truly pathetic. What do you think of the reaction to the next big trailer for Amazon's Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power that so many Tolkien fans already hate. Let me know in the comments below. Smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching, everyone. And a huge shout out to my patrons. I appreciate you guys so much. Want to follow me on Twitter or Instagram? Check out the description below. You'll find links to my PO box and my Patreon as well. And I'll talk to you guys later.